What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve for a variable in the denominator. Okay, so in this example, we have 30 over x is equal to 10. So as you can see, in this example, the variable is in the denominator. So whenever your variable is in the denominator like this, you're going to multiply by that variable on top. Okay, so we're going to multiply by x up here. But remember, this is the important part, what you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay, so if we multiply by x over here, we also have to multiply by x over here, right? So now you're going to see a couple things happen. So whenever you have the same number or the same variable on the top and the bottom, they cancel out, right? So this x and this x, they cancel out. So on this side of the equation, all we're left with is 30, okay? And then that's equal to, equal to 10 times x. 10 times x. Okay, so as you can see, our variable x right here is now in the numerator, next to the 10, okay? It's on this side this time, right? It started on this side, but we moved it to this side, just so we could get it in the numerator. Okay, so now it's in the numerator, so now we can isolate it by itself. So we need to get rid of this 10 times somehow. So in order to undo this multiplication, we have to divide, right? Divide by what we're trying to get rid of. So if we're trying to get rid of this 10, we're going to divide by 10. And remember what you do to one side, you do to the other, right? So now we can simplify some things again. So we have the same number on top and the bottom, so they cancel out. So on this side, all we're left with is x, okay? And then that's going to equal, right? It's equal to 30 over 10. 30 over 10, or 30 divided by 10, is just equal to 3. Okay, so our final answer here is x is equal to 3. All right, guys, so that's how you solve for a variable that's in the denominator. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have questions, leave them in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video, so if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.